Joe Cordina versus Michael Katacharian. I apologize for mispronouncing his name. But uh, yeah, to those who don't know, this fight will be taking place uh, this weekend, this Saturday on the 11th of December, scheduled for 10 rounds in the junior lightweight division to take place in the undercard of the Conor Ben versus Chris Algieri fight. Katie Taylor will also be uh, the uh, co-future in the event. Uh, fight the event will be shown live on the zone to so tune into the zone if you want to see all these fights so anyway cordina and uh michael had their weigh-ins both fighters weighed in below the 130 pound weight limit with both fighters weighing in at 129.75 pounds both fighters they looks like they're ready to go we have ourselves a fight originally the original opponent for joe cordina he was supposed to fight um uh, I can't remember his name. Ampiran, I think something like that. It starts with an A. He was supposed to fight him, but I guess he was not available, and he got replaced by Michael Kacha. Oh my gosh, I, I, I'm I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm butchering his name. Michael Katachirian. Kat Katachirian. Kachat Ryan. Kachat Ryan. I think that's a, that's a better way to pronounce it. Michael Kachat Ryan. Uh, a 26-year-old fighter from Belgium, undefeated, 13-0, 7 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. He's coming for knockout win against Michael Papeo, Papawe, Papawe. Looks like he's fought over in Belgium his entire career. This will be his first time fighting outside of Belgium. And first major step up for Michael against a top 15 fighter in the world in Joe Cordina, who is now 30 years old from Wales, 13-0, 8 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. I'll say this though, at least he's fighting an undefeated fighter. Um, you know, I, I think Joe Cordina should be fighting top notch level world fighters, top contenders right now. I think he's ready for a world title. I think he's ready to step in there for, you know, to fight one of the champions right now at 130 pounds. Do I think he'll win those? Uh, it depends. <laughs> but but yeah, I think he's I think he's definitely ready to fight the big names though. I think he's you know he shouldn't be fighting. Uh, domestic level fighters like Michael Kacharinan, who in my opinion is more of a domestic level fighter from Belgium, maybe more of a European level, but you know, I, I have seen footage of Michael, he's not that bad, you know, I, I can see why he's undefeated, picks his shots pretty well, moves around, he boxes pretty good, but nowhere on the same level as Joe Cardina, in my opinion, Joe Cardina uh, is more experienced, he's better in there against better opposition, uh, Joe Cardina is more proven, he's faster, stronger, more skilled, more experienced, um, even though not much of an experience considering they only have, you know, basically the same amount of professional fights. But at least Joe Cordina has been in there against uh, better opposition from around the world in comparison to Michael. So I'm, I'm leaning towards uh, Joe Cordina in this fight. Uh, should be able to win this one. Going the distance, most likely eight rounds to two, seven rounds to three. If it's by knockout or TKO, I think it's Cordina knocking out Michael. I'll be shocked and very surprised if Michael Sama pulls it off. But... Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm interested in this fight. I'm interested in this event. It's going to be a great event. Great day of boxing, December 11. A lot of fights taking place around the world. Looking forward to all of them. Sucks that I have work, but it is what it is. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.